Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're looking at question number three from the 2022 exam, set two. In order to be fully prepared for this question, you need to be through unit five. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with the country of Zeta. They are in long run equilibrium. However, the government is concerned about the size of the national debt. For part A, we're going to identify one fiscal policy action that the government could take to reduce the debt. In order to answer this question, we need to remember that the national debt will increase when taxes are less than government spending. And the national debt will decrease when taxes are greater than government spending. So if we want to decrease the national debt, the government can increase taxes or decrease spending. Either one of those answers will get you the point. For part B, we're going to graph the loanable funds market and show the effect of the fiscal policy action that we just identified in part A. We're going to start off drawing this graph by labeling the axes, quantity of loanable funds on that x-axis, and the real interest rate on the y-axis. We're going to have an upward sloping supply curve, downward sloping demand curve, and we need to mark the equilibrium real interest rate and the equilibrium quantity of loanable funds. And if the government decreases the national debt, that means the government will be demanding fewer loans. So let's shift that demand curve to the left and show the impact on the real interest rate, which is a decrease in that real interest rate, as well as a decrease in the equilibrium quantity of loanable funds. As you may already know, there's another way to draw the impact of this fiscal policy action, and that would be to increase the supply of loanable funds. In this analysis, the government is actually borrowing less, so there's more supply of loanable funds in the private sector. Either of these shifts is acceptable. You'll get one point for the graph and a second point for the appropriate shift with the impact on the real interest rate being a decrease. For part C, we're going to say based on the change in the real interest rate we just identified, what happens to aggregate demand in the short run? And we have to explain. To answer this question, it's helpful to remember there's an inverse relationship between the interest rate and gross investment. And since we just saw a lower interest rate, that means investment is going to increase and aggregate demand is going to shift to the right. So we can answer this question by saying increase because the lower interest rate will increase gross investment or interest rate sensitive consumer spending. But I think the answer is best focusing on investment. For part C double I, we have to explain the impact on potential real output. And it's going to be helpful to remember that potential real output is a function of the quality or quantity of resources. So that leads us to the answer here, increase, because the increase in gross investment will increase the physical capital stock and that will lead to a long run aggregate supply curve shift to the right. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2022 macroeconomics exam set to question number three. If you still need more help, head over to reviewweekon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.